Hi guys, Colin here from computerclasses.ie and applecourses.ie. So what we're going to look at today is a thing called guided access. So this allows you to be able to lock the screen of your phone while it's in an app, like for example playing on YouTube, and it stops people being able to go out of the app. So take for example a toddler that you want to maybe give your phone to in a restaurant or somewhere where you want them just to, to focus on that for a second. You give them the phone and put a YouTube video on like I've done in the past, and maybe the touch the screen with the hands or they press a button and then the next thing they're crying or they're giving out because they're gone out of the app. What this will allow you to do, it will allow you to lock the screen once you have it in. And when I mean lock, I mean disable touch features on the screen, not actually blank it out. So it's good for that, being able to go into YouTube, put a video on or something just to keep the, the toddler or the young child um, active for a couple of minutes. And then it just means you can get on with whatever you need to do. So what we're going to do first is we're going to get settings. First of all, guys, if this is the first video that you watched on the channel, please do make sure to subscribe so you get notifications of any new videos and if you do find this video helpful please do give it a thumbs up because it, I do find it really um, helps the channel out lovely so we're going to go in now to the settings guys and I have it open on a phone here so you'd be able to see it on the phone but I've also a video so that I can show you my fingers actually touching the screen and it not working so we're going to go into the settings app first of all and we're going to go and we're going to scroll down then to the accessibility options okay so when we get into the accessibility options we're going to go right down to the very bottom and the option we're looking for is called guided access and we click into guided access and it tells us here guided access keeps the iphone in a single app that's the important thing and allows you to control which features are available to start guided access triple click on the side button of the app you want of the side button in the app you want to use now that's going to be different depending on the phone model that you have this is one of the iphone um xrs and there's a side button on it here so other phones might have a button on the top or wherever the button is, but it will tell you when you go in to, to do this. So the first thing we want to do is we want to click on guided access on. So we want to put it on there like that. And, and that's it. We're going to do a couple more wee settings later on whenever we go into the app. Now, usually I would use this for YouTube. I've an 18 month old and um, I might want to give her the phone just to keep her occupied for a couple of minutes. I put it into YouTube and maybe Peppa Pig or something like that on and I lock the screen that she can't go out of that app for five minutes or whatever it is. Um, what happens is if you put YouTube on for them and they click a button or they close out of it, the next thing they're giving out to you. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to the app. I'm gonna use the Notes app for this. So I'm gonna click on Notes, and you can see at the minute, if I go to create a new note, and if I draw, you can see I can do all the drawing. I'm gonna position the phone there, and we're gonna video it just so that I can add it to this later on. So you can see I can draw whatever I want to do on that screen. Now, we already have guided access turned on in the background, but we have to activate it now. And the way we do that is we do three tips on the side button on this model. So we're going to do, I'm just going to have to hold it a second hand, one, two, three. And you can see it goes into a different mode and you have cancel at the top left hand corner. You have start at the top right hand corner, but in the bottom left hand corner, we've this option and it says options. I'm going to click on options and it gives us the, the, the buttons that are going to be disabled. So first of all, you can see the side button is disabled. The volume buttons is disabled. So once you set that volume before you go into guided access, the child or whoever you're giving the phone to can't turn it up or down. Okay, this will also work for Netflix or Disney Plus or any of them. Okay, we have the motion. So if they shake the phone and it comes up with a cancel or whatever it is, so we can turn that off too. The keyboard here as well, we don't need to use the keyboard. And this is the big one, the touch. This needs to be off, because if the touch isn't off, they can still touch the screen. And if they're in YouTube, they might put on a different video or whatever the, the case is. So you put the touch off. So you can see I've done all them, them things there. If you want, you can set a time limit or whatever. I'm not going to do that here. I'm just going to click on done. And once I click on done, I've all them limits set. Now, you don't have to do this every time. Once you do it the first time in the initial setup, that's it done. It's just a matter of clicking three times on the phone to start that video and three times on the side of the phone to, to stop that video. So we're going to go for start. 
So you can see there, it asked me to put in my PIN code for the first time on my passcode. So um, I, this is just a blank phone. So I just have one, two, three, four, five, six on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Please don't use that code for you. You can see guided access has started and it said triple click to get out of guided access. So now you can see I'm tipping the screen I'm tipping the side button, I'm trying to close out of the app, and you can see it's telling me guided access is on. So you just imagine you have a toddler and you're after putting on a video for them, uh, whatever kids are, are, are watching in the different locations, and they're touching the screen with their fingers, and you can see that it's not going out of the app. Then when you're finished and you want to get the phone back at them, you take the phone back, you click three times, one, two, three, and it comes up, it asks you to print your pin code, so you can see even if a child by accident did press it three times, if they don't know the pin code, they can't get out of the guided access. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then it's, it gives you the options end, resume, or then them options at the bottom. I want to end guided access this session, so I click on end, it tells me guided access is ended, and then you can see I can use away at my drawing this this phone's an older phone so it's actually putting in text there but you can see that i can use the touch screen as normal i can close out the app and i can go through the other different settings here so guided access is brilliant for that location or for anyone that wants to lock something into an app that someone wants to do even for yourself if you have to hold the phone and maybe you don't want to be pressed that you can put that guided access on so what it does is it just locks you into an app you have them them three tips on it um, and it automatically keeps you in there until you want to get out of it. I find it great for the kids, um, you know, if you're in a restaurant after a meal and you just want that five minutes just to finish your meal, give them the phone, but put the guided access on. Do make sure you have a good screen cover on the phone and a protective case because it doesn't stop them letting it fall. Okay, guys. If you enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. And also subscribe to the channel. Thanks. And we'll see you again.